I, I think the main barriers are complicating information and will. At, this is at least in Finnish society that I'm familiar with. Um, I think the media draws a very complicated and even contrasted picks on forests and climate change. It is so that one day climate change is mitigated by increasing cuttings and the next day by decreasing cuttings. So I think this contradictory and complicated information leaves an average forest owner quite alone with his or her forest at, at this moment at least. Even if uh, there would be a genuine will to mitigate climate change. I think it would be just uh, a too big investment of time and energy for an average forest owner to make sense of how different forestry practices really affect climate change. And only this an average owner can do is to pick pieces of knowledge from the information flow that seems to be appropriate for them. Of, of course, the climate effects of different forest uses and different ways to calculate carbon are disputed in scientific literature or as well, but it seems that there is a growing consensus among forest scientists that we have to decrease loggings, at least in Finland, if we regard climate change as this kind of urgent threat that needs to be responded during the next 100 years. However, this view is not suitable for all those actors who advocate the increased utilization of forest biomass in our society. So I think it is more the competition for public acceptance and competition for the forest owner souls than the lack of scientific knowledge that prevents at the moment the development of even the very idea of what the low carbon forest owners it could be. I don't know if this situation is different in elsewhere in Europe. And we also do not know still the forest owners would be actually interested low carbon forest use.